hello hello facebook and youtube this is your girl stephanie aka ed miha ed mihi mihi miha's to sa papa here doing readings for the month of november gonna sage my cards gonna start with air signs so gemini let's get into your energy yes yes why <sighs> okay all right divine forces of unconditional love of the highest microcosm divine forces of unconditional love light peace wealth health prosperity and everything good and positive what does the sign of gemini need to know for their highest good for the month of november what does gemini need to know for their highest good for the month of november what messages do you want to bring to them okay two more shuffles and then gonna get your cards one and two So we have the nine of wands. So do you have your defenses up against something? Uh, you're going to have your defenses up in regards to moving forward on a situation. On a moving forward in regards to a commitment. Um, something that you've really had your mind set on. But um, you have to realize that you can make this decision. You know. Because the, the relationship is toxic and the person is manipulative. It could be a fire sign. Um, could be a cancer. Could be a Taurus. I'm seeing those energies here. Uh, could be a Capricorn. So we have the double card here. A lot of major arcana cards as well. Um... Out of six cards that we have, four major arcana out here. So this is a, a long-term relationship that you've been dealing with. Um, and this person's been wearing a mask, you know. But maybe that's been uncovered, you know. With the moon card, another major arcana. Something uh, hidden being revealed, coming to the light. Revealing uh, your subconscious. Maybe you're um, recognizing and... Um, acknowledging that you may have a, a codependent addictive type um, personality and you've been deceiving yourself three of swords so there's a you know again a heartbreak possibly coming in um, as you're gonna have to walk away from this relationship that's no longer serving you but you will achieve stability and groundedness within yourself all right bottom of the deck ten of wands releasing a burden you've always feel overburdened there's a lot of burden on you and honestly i don't feel like it's all your energy it's because you're connecting to this toxic ass energy and it's time for you to cut that off maybe do some cord tying um cord releasing cord cord cutting um rituals so let's get clarity clarify clarifiers for all the main energy here uh give me clarifiers for the nine of wands please spirit clarify clarify the nine of wands so we have the ten of wands coming out again um but uh, in reverse it, it came out in reverse so you are ready to release this burden um and because you know the ten reduces to a one and you're 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 open for new possibilities. No longer playing a victim because how can you play the victim in something that you are voluntarily staying in? You can cut things off as, as whenever you want to. Clarify the chariot card for me, please. Clarify the chariot. The two of wands ascending to the next level, uh, coming out of a stagnant energy and moving on. 
So it looks as though that you are ready to move on. And here go the Ace of Wands coming out along with the Queen of Wands. So that Ace of Wands is that new opportunity coming in. Queen of Wands is that energy of taking matters into your own hands. And so you are awakening to the toxicity of this commitment, of this relationship. And you're realizing here with the Empress, let's get clarity for the Empress, that you are, you know, fine on your own you are you will be more abundant alone on your own um you know searching out new opportunities um exploring new i you know old possibly old ideas that you had have had you know um healing that inner child give me more clarity on the Empress Page of Wands. And like so you you're new, you're 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 newly stepping into your uh Empress energy. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take this cl clarifying the devil because I didn't need any more on the Empress. And you know with the eight of pentacles and we'll work reverse over the double is just for me no longer investing and working and, and focusing on this toxic energy king of cups and reverse let's get clarity on that that manipulative love energy no more investing in the five of motherfucking cups okay not crying over spilt milk you know this person uh was wearing a mask could have been a Sagittarius this person's wearing a mask and uh, though they didn't show you their true colors you're sensing it within and you're trusting your intuition spirit is trying is showing you and deep down you know deep down you know that this is a toxic person toxic energy a controlling person um rigid person this person could also could possibly even be abusive you know or just very controlling and that's not the type of energy you want to be with Gemini you guys are air you like to be free you don't like you know to be controlled or you know manipulated or not put first you don't want to be in a relationship with someone that's a dictator. You know? So we have that over the moon. saw the world card with the uh, king of wands freeing yourself from this fire possibly a fire sign you know with it because i see the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck let's get clarity on the three of swords it's painful yes but you can do this with you oh you know happiness is coming as you uh begin to see things from a different perspective start to uh put your focus on other things you know give me clarity on the four of wands what will bring gemini stability this four of wands love commitment twin flame energy and this could be you coming um into your full power your divine masculine divine feminine energy coming together for what self-love look at that ace of cups coming out to clarify the four of wands your happiness comes when you start to appreciate yourself not allowing other people to take advantage of you or to breadcrumb you or you know anything of the sorts Killing your inner child, you know. And knowing that you deserve more. Know that you deserve better. Strength card, you know. Finding the strength. Overcoming that, that ego. Overcoming the ego of other people. Perhaps. Alright, so let's get... Um, have enough time. 
Let's get uh, some a crystal card. See if we can add any more to this reading. Maybe provide more clarity or maybe some advice. Spirit, what crystal cards could be helpful for our beautiful Geminis for the month of November? I'm going to shuffle uh, two more times. Knock and cut. Pull from the top. One, and do one more, two, and three, beautiful. Garnet, ruby, and blue calcite. Bottom of the deck, deck we have a gate. So the agate crystal would be the overall energy um, matching along with the strength card. Um, it says, what is it? A gate, a bandit, chalcedony comes in many forms. Elegant blue lace agate, an iridescent fire agate or two. Each agate has its own unique vibe, but they all promote the energy of wherever you are, be there. Who needs it? Work-life balance. Strugglers. Where to put it wherever you need more stability in your life. When to use it. When you want to get into your body, try fire and gate. When too much screen time has you feeling disconnected from anything, the slightest bit eco or outside nature, try the far from aptly named moss gate, which neither contains moss nor is technically in the gate, but can still hold it down. Find your solid ground. So this is what... Uh, the overall energy is wanting the spirit is wanting you to find your solid ground within yourself, you know, to not be, um, you know, to find that balance, that work life balance that, um, and this could be like relationship life balance, you know, you focusing on this person and this toxic, you know, relationship that you really had your heart set on it could or it could be work this could be you know speaking about speaking about a work situation that you need to release that's um, toxic in the month of november so the first crystal out in regards for the reading it's the garnet card it says garnets are deep pomegranate to fiery red stones that have lit wrists for centuries that have lit wrists for centuries <laughs> garnets Come in many forms like Alamodine, Glossar, Spicertine, to name three. Gorgeous garnets gush with positive vibes and are the perfect sparkly accessories to an I got this attitude. Exactly. Who needs it? Writers who aren't writing, painters who aren't paintings, sexual beings who aren't sexing. So exactly. If you're moving and walking away from a relationship or, you know, old toxic job. This is something that you could possibly use. It says where to put it. Any place you want to make something, uh, be it art, love, or dollar bills, y'all. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> uh, when to use it. When you feel like the real you is getting lost in the sometimes shallow, often materialistic priorities of a likes-driven culture. So this person that you like you know, and this likes the driven culture can be toxic. And it's time for you to get into your depth, is what it says. Get into your depth. Go deeper. Um, next card, we have Ruby. Hot pink to Cabernet Red. Ruby is a precious gemstone that has bedazzled royalty for centuries. So here we go again with this bedazzling wrist. Spirit wants to um, adorn you with jewels and great things and just really spoil you you know but you have to release you know these people who are breadcrumbing you how can you feel deserving of more and you keep ex ex uh, ex um, accepting less from people you need to raise your standards you know find your solid ground know that you are the empress right remember we had the empress in the page of wands like you or newly coming into your empress energy so it's time for you to claim that shit own it you know ruby is a fearless guide and protector pointing you in the direction of rich of a rich passionate life exactly who needs it anyone 
with something worth fighting for. And you most definitely have, you are worth fighting for, right? And this person isn't fighting for you, right? Or or not. I mean, this is for those people. If, the, if it fits, it fits. You know, this is a general read. So um, take what fly, uh, applies and let the rest fly, right? You are worth fighting for. Where to put it? Uh, in a ring on the hand you throw punches with or in the boudoir. When to use it. When you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious. When your sex life needs a heaping teaspoon of spice. When the doldrums have you down, reach for ruby and some really red lipstick and come out swinging. Feed your fires. Last but not least, blue calcite. All right. What it is, dreamy, calming blue calcite is the fresh from the meditation retreat vision board making hippie of the calcite family. Who, who needs it? People who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m. Where to put it on your bedside table, you know. So this relation, releasing this relationship may have you up. It may have you in the dark night of the soul energy, worried and wondering. Like, because you had a lot of, you know, a lot of eggs in that basket when it comes to that person, perhaps. When to use it. When stress is the enemy. Freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines aren't death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calm and focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put stress in its place far away from the joy of process and the delight of dreaming big. Act on your dreams, okay? So don't allow this uh, person to distract you any longer. You know that you are the empress. Release this toxic energy. Um no longer give it the time or the light of day okay that's what i have for you gemini i hope that helped in some way shape form or fashion i love you all and until next time peace